Welcome to my first tutorial ever. I've never done one and uh, I've learned so much off of YouTube and other tutorials that I figured it was time to give something back. I've been using 123D Design for a few weeks now and I'm enjoying it but there are some things about it that just aren't intuitive, at least not to me, and I couldn't find answers that were readily available. So the, we're going to go over a couple things that I found uh, very helpful uh, once I figured out. The first thing that we want to do is I want to uh, align this solid with a, uh, with a specific point that's on the XY plane. And uh, there's no easy way that to snap and snap that I could find to do it. And uh, so, I mean, you can come up and use this move, and you get these arrows for each one of the directions and these little squares here, which haven't completely figured out what they work, and also a, an angular thing for uh, rotating it. And you get these little windows that, you know, if you pop on this one, you get a window that you can type in exact dimensions that you want to uh, move your object. Well, that all works great if you know exactly how far it is from here to here and from here to here. And uh, if you have that information, you can use it, but it, you have to fat finger every one of those digits in. So what I've found to be a better way of doing it is uh, to use the ruler. So what we're going to do is we take the cursor up to the toolbar, hover over Transform to get the uh, drop down, and we want to select the ruler. Now you can select ruler or activate it by typing R on the keyboard. So we select the key, the L square, and we bring it down here to this point on the XY grid. You left click and that, align, that locks that little red circle to our point that we want to use as a reference. Once we've done that, we select the, uh, the solid that we want to move and it shows up our the exact offset from our the point that we want as a reference here it's 28.359 and this one's 17.5 and then you've also got the z offset 6.222 and you know now that you have all that information you could write it down and then go back to the other method to move it and rotate it it just that's very cumbersome so uh, what we're going to do is we're going to use this setup in order to move it. Now there are two things here, uh, three things actually. Um, the arrows to move, uh, occasionally I get to a point where I put the cursor right over the arrow and the arrow turns white again and I can't pick it. But if you get the cursor anywhere near it and it turns yellow, go ahead and push down the uh, your left mouse button and that will select it because you are in the pick box for that uh, move arrow. Uh, the other item is if you have the uh, linear snap set to point one, when you grab this arrow and move it, you're going to notice that this is going to jump by point one. It, it moves to the first increment uh, that's closest to it and then it jumps by the even ones after that. But if you're trying to align to a certain point like that and they're even points of millimeters, you really want to set this either to the 1 or the 5 and because we're going on the 5 millimeter I'm just going to click on the 5. Um, now when you get ready to move uh, because this solid as you can see is actually partly below the XY plane. I'm going to move it up first on the Z axis. So we grab that button, the move arrow, and we move it up. And now we're right on the XY plane for that bottom face. So we do the same thing with the other, like that. Uh, the third thing I want to show you is if you don't want to move it exactly to this point, Okay, once you move it just a little bit, it is going to take it to the nearest multiple of 25 because it's going to step by 5. Okay, so at that point, you can click on that and you can type in the exact offset that you want from your reference point that you had started 
so it'll be wherever exactly where you want it to be so you've you've got that option uh, as well or you could even click on that and you type in the zero and push enter and it centers it right for you so that's just something else to keep in mind okay we grab the other arrow and bring it down and now we are centered exactly on that point on the XY plane so we're done and we want to click on the exit mode square now you can do the same thing with a uh, sketch grab your uh, L square lock it down select that now you're going to get a, an error message uh, and right now it says that you can't scale to G D shapes well we're not scaling it we just want to move it so um, all we're going to do is we're going to because it's below the pl the XY uh, plane we're going to move it up now it's on the XY plane and then we move the X and Y so it is exactly aligned where we want it and then when we're done we just click on the exit mode box now there is a, a peculiar situation that you're going to end up with now this rectangle and this one they were actually drawn at the same time. They are actually part of the same sketch. And you can verify that by clicking on the Move uh, icon and come down and click on one of the rectangles. And when you do, it highlights both of those. And, uh, you know, that's just, that's what happens. So uh, let's go ahead and back up here and uh, we're going to use the uh, the other method we're going to select the ruler we're going to put it here we're going to grab our uh, two items we move the Z up and then we move the X and the Y down to where they're right on our reference point and click that when we're done what you'll see is that um, this method took this edge and aligned it along this axis on the XY grid and it used this one to align along here. I don't know of an easy way to um, use this vertice. Uh, let's say you wanted to align those two to where this vertice was right here uh, and there isn't an easy way to do it that I found it but um, you can measure that distance and then use the move buttons to, to do it but anyway it's just a peculiarity of it and uh, this method also works on a, uh, a vertical uh, sketch if this sketch right here is uh, drawn in a vertical plane and you can align that to a specific point doing the same way we take our L square and then we uh, grab that and we move it up first and then we uh, then we adjust the X and the Y when we're done we click on exit mode and as you can see that thing is locked right into that point where we wanted it the last issue I want to talk about here is uh, when I was playing and creating uh, models and stuff I would uh, create sketches and uh, uh, solids uh, to facilitate drawing the model that I wanted and when I was done I couldn't find a way of deleting them I would select it and I would hit control X on the the keyboard because in Windows almost all things if you mark something and hit control X it deletes it and uh, but it didn't and so I I was then trying the uh, the keyboard delete button well, uh, NumLock, uh, in my case, NumSkull, I usually keep that in NumLock because I usually don't use these arrow buttons or the anything else in here. I just use the numbers and the uh, arithmetic operators. Well, so I hit the delete button. Well, that's in NumLock mode. That's a decimal point. So it didn't work. But if you use this delete button or just a standard delete button that doesn't have other functions, then when you have something selected and you hit that delete key it goes away and if you did it by mistake the control Z does it bring does bring it back uh, you can also do it by the undo as you see that's a control Z 
so uh, you can mark everything on your in your window that way and hit delete and it all goes away and get it back with the control Z so uh, I hope this was helpful to you uh, this was again this was done in uh, one two three D design version two point one point eleven and my next tutorial I'm going to be doing some sketch work and and just some tricks that I found uh, or whatever had to be done in order to uh, facilitate building a model hope this was help you, helpful and we will see you on the next one